Hello, everyone, and welcome to my capstone presentation for the intensive 12 week software development program at Dev Code Camp. I'm Nick, a recent graduate, and I created an app called Sudsy. Sudsy is an app that has the goal of making laundry and dry cleaning a little bit more convenient for you and I. As a single father, I found it incredibly difficult some weeks to get into laundry, folding it, or even having to rush to the dry cleaners because I find out I have honors guard that weekend for a fallen veteran. So after doing more research on the industry, I found that very few companies were doing pickup and delivery services or even had modernized websites. So I felt like this was a problem I could tackle. So in my project, I used ASP.NET, Core, MVC, Entity Framework, HTML, Bootstrap, some CSS3, and JavaScript. I chose to use SQL as my database because it handles large volumes of data quickly, and it works so well with ASP.NET. This project also contains the Geocode API, the Google Maps API, and the Stripe API. So without further ado, let's take you into my project and show you how it works. Welcome to the homepage of the Sudsies project. So on here, we have a couple of tabs that pretty much just explain the site, uh, contact us form, you can come down to the about project and learn more about it. Now, one of the things I was really keen about with this project was making it so that you could see the services, even if you aren't a normal customer. We got some cleaning products such as starch. If you click on the starch, you can see reviews, which this one has been reviewed. So let's check out something that has been reviewed, like the three-piece suit. You see that it has an average of 3.75. So it highlights up to four stars. Let's add this item to our cart right away. Let's go ahead and throw two of those in there. Let's head over to the fees. Oh, let's get this, let's say tomorrow. Okay. So one of the things now we can do is either check out, but what that's going to do is it's going to redirect us to register. Register because everybody needs to be registered to actually make a purchase on our site for secure safe payments. So we'll go ahead and register a new account. Um, we'll just register myself at, I'll make a bogus email there, create a simple little password to remember, and let's register. Oops. So we're just going to plug in this pre-information from a test I had done prior today. And we'll just change that email. Go ahead and create this. Now I can come in here and edit account information. If I change my primary address, I could view past orders I had made or past reviews. Or we can continue on right now and we'll check out the shopping cart. So we've got two three-piece suits and we're going to get those next day rushed to us. Let's go ahead and check out. It's going to take us to the payment page. We can type in our email and what it'll do is really speed up our process of filling out our form. It's going to ask for another address because sometimes you want your orders delivered to your house. Sometimes you want them delivered to your, where you're at work. Let's try and make that more convenient for everybody. So we're going to do a pickup date. Let's say today's Tuesday. We're going to drop this off on Wednesdays. Let's attach an image. Let's say we got some blood on one of the suits. That's a lot of blood I know, but We'll just call it bloody suit. We'll go ahead and complete the order for step one and move into step two, which is the payment. Let's type in the test information from Stripe. It's going to be for two repeated. Any CIV number, and let's go and type in the actual address, zip code. This order turned out to be a nice $35 flat. We'll submit the payment. It'll take just a second to process through Stripe. Give us a nice little printout thanking us for the order and take us back to our past orders. So this is actually a order in process, but they'll all just hop into our past. We can check out details on the order as to when it was placed, who it was placed by, the day of the week, because employees can also view this information. So I thought it'd be really nice to give them as much information as possible. They can check out an uploaded image of the suit, making their life a little bit nicer to see how bad the stain is before they've ever received it. Let's go back to the order now. So my past order, We'll see the details on here in this lovely detail bar. But we're going to hop into another browser where I have currently opened on Chrome. So we can log in, let's say, an employee. I made a employee account already for J Color. And this is going to show us a map right away with the geo locating, pinpointing these as soon as the address is created in the checkout. And then the geo maps 
Geo, uh, Google Maps API, sorry about that, collecting all these data points for us and storing them nicely. So let's say Tom's Brady is, Tom Brady's order is cleaned. Now we can drop it off. And he's over here on 401 West Michigan Street, right down here. When we click drop off, we'll see that it's no longer on our map. So this employee no longer has that task to do today. So he has another drop off for Aaron Rodgers, but let's go to this pickup of myself. Uh, we can view details again from here, go into the details and see no progress has been made. We go back to here. Let's confirm the pickup to start. Now let's go track down that order that I placed for myself. Top this out of the way. That's the Tuesday, Wednesday pickup. All right. So we can click on cleaned. We can check out the details and we'll see that 50% right there. Usually we just go back to the home page from there. Uh, we'll click on the order being cleaned. Takes us back here. So the employee can move on to his next task, which would be picking or dropping off Aaron Rodgers' clothes at the YMCA downtown where he's been working out and needs his suits delivered. So we'll confirm the drop off. We'll come into here. Let's find that latest Aaron Rodgers order and see that it's at 100% complete. Now we can move back to the order that we had placed for myself earlier. Let's share the details of it, 75% complete. When we go back to the view all orders for today, we'll see that when it gets dropped off tomorrow, it'll go up to 100%. So I mentioned earlier that I had done reviews for this project. So this is something I thought was really nice to have where you can view it all. When you come in here, you click on your items and it'll showcase that review score. So some of the things I would do differently if I redid this project were I would use the Stripe API library significantly more. I found out afterwards that you can store products in there, pricing, images, and then when you go to create a receipt, it itemizes the receipt. It also showcases the image on the receipt and it creates an automatic email to the receipt. Something I thought was really cool learning about after the fact. So I would also like to make some changes to the styling on this website. But I really appreciate your time today for checking out this project. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. You can get a hold of me on my LinkedIn, email, or even on my personal website. You guys have a great day.